On a chilly Halloween night, the moon hung low in the sky, casting eerie shadows across the empty streets. In a small suburban neighborhood, Sarah, a young woman in her mid-twenties, sat alone in her cozy living room, engrossed in a horror movie marathon. The glow of the TV illuminated her face as she watched the terrifying scenes unfold before her. As the clock struck midnight, the neighborhood grew silent, save for the howling wind outside. Sarah shivered, feeling a sudden chill creep down her spine. She pulled her blanket tighter around her shoulders, trying to shake off the feeling of unease that had settled over her. Just as the movie reached its climax, there was a sudden, sharp knock on the front door. Sarah jumped, her heart pounding in her chest. She paused the movie, listening intently. Another knock followed, louder this time, echoing through the silent house. With trembling hands, Sarah got up from the couch and cautiously approached the door. Peering through the peephole, she saw nothing but darkness outside. She hesitated, unsure whether to open the door or pretend she wasn't home. Before she could make a decision, the knocking came again, more insistent than before. Sarah's pulse quickened, her mind racing with fear. Who could be knocking on her door at this hour, on Halloween of all nights? Summoning her courage, Sarah unlocked the door and swung it open, expecting to find a trick-or-treater or a neighbor in need of help. But to her horror, there was no one there. The porch lay empty, bathed in the dim glow of the streetlights. A chill ran down Sarah's spine as she stepped out onto the porch, scanning the darkness for any sign of movement. The night was still, the only sound the rustling of leaves in the wind. She couldn't shake the feeling that someone or something was watching her from the shadows. As she turned to go back inside, a sudden gust of wind slammed the door shut behind her, causing her to jump. She tried to open it again, but it was stuck fast, as if something were holding it closed from the other side. Panic rising in her chest, Sarah pounded on the door calling out for help. But her cries were swallowed by the night, drowned out by the howling wind. Desperate, she reached for her phone to call the police, but to her horror, she realized it was missing. Feeling trapped and alone, Sarah's mind raced with fear. What if whatever, or whoever, was outside her door wasn't human? What if it was something far more sinister, something from the depths of her worst nightmares? With trembling hands, she fumbled for the spare key hidden beneath a flower pot near the door. As she reached for it, she felt a cold presence behind her, a chill creeping over her skin like icy fingers. She whirled around, expecting to confront her unseen tormentor. But the porch was empty, shrouded in darkness. And yet, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was not alone. With a surge of adrenaline, Sarah snatched up the key and flung open the door, racing inside and slamming it shut behind her. She leaned against it, heart pounding, trying to catch her breath. But her relief was short-lived. From the other side of the door came a low, guttural growl, followed by the sound of scratching claws. The thing outside was trying to get in, its presence a palpable menace that filled the air with dread. Terrified, Sarah fled into the depths of her house, locking doors and windows behind her in a futile attempt to keep the thing out. But no matter where she hid, she could still hear it, scratching and clawing at the walls, its presence growing ever closer. As the night wore on, Sarah huddled in a corner of her darkened living room, trembling with fear. She knew that she was no match for whatever lurked outside her door, waiting to claim her soul. And as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Sarah realized with a sinking heart that Halloween night would never be the same again. For she had come face to face with true terror, and it had left its mark on her soul forevermore. Despite the first light of dawn offering a glimmer of hope, Sarah's terror had not abetted. She remained huddled in the corner of her living room, her eyes darting nervously around the dimly lit space. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind outside sent shivers down her spine. With trembling hands, Sarah reached for her phone once more, hoping against hope that she had simply misplaced it in her panic. But her search yielded no results. Her phone was still missing, leaving her feeling even more isolated and vulnerable. Suddenly, a new sound pierced the silence, a soft, haunting melody drifting through the air. Sarah froze, her heart pounding in her chest. The melody was achingly familiar stirring memories long buried in the recesses of her mind. Slowly, she rose to her feet, drawn toward the source of the music like a moth to a flame. She followed the sound through the darkened corridors of her house, each step heavy with trepidation. As she rounded a corner, the music abruptly stopped, replaced by an eerie silence that seemed to press down on her like a weight. Sarah found herself standing before a closed door, its surface adorned with intricate carvings and symbols she couldn't quite decipher. With a trembling hand, she reached out and turned the doorknob, the door swinging open with a soft creak. What she saw on the other side took her breath away, 
a room bathed in soft candlelight, its walls adorned with strange symbols and arcane sigils. In the center of the room stood a figure cloaked in shadows, its features obscured by darkness. As Sarah stepped forward, the figure turned to face her, its eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Who are you? Sarah whispered, her voice barely audible above the pounding of her heart. The figure said nothing, its gaze piercing her soul like a thousand icy needles. With a sudden jolt, Sarah realized the truth, this was no ordinary haunting. Whatever lurked in the shadows of her house was something far more ancient and malevolent than she could have ever imagined. With a surge of courage born of desperation, Sarah turned and fled, racing through the corridors of her house in a blind panic. But no matter how fast she ran, she could feel the thing's presence close behind her, its cold breath hot on her neck. As she reached the front door, Sarah flung it open and stumbled out into the cool light of dawn. But even as she ran, she knew that she could never truly escape the horrors that lurked within the depths of her own mind. For on that fateful Halloween night, Sarah had come face to face with the darkness that lay dormant within her soul, and it had changed her forever. And as she disappeared into the mist-shrouded streets, her screams echoed through the empty dawn, a haunting reminder of the true terror that lurked just beyond the threshold of her reality. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. But the memory of that fateful Halloween night continued to haunt Sarah's every waking moment. No matter where she went or what she did, she couldn't shake the feeling of dread that clung to her like a shadow. Sleep became a luxury Sarah could no longer afford, her nights plagued by nightmares of dark, twisting corridors and malevolent figures lurking in the shadows. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind outside sent her heart racing, her nerves frayed to the breaking point. Desperate for answers, Sarah delved into the darkest corners of the internet, scouring forums and websites in search of anything that could help her make sense of what had happened to her. But the more she searched, the more she realized that she was not alone. There were others out there who had experienced similar horrors, people whose lives had been forever changed by encounters with things that defied rational explanation. They spoke of ancient rituals and forbidden knowledge, of creatures from beyond the veil of reality that hungered for the souls of the living. With a sinking heart, Sarah realized that she was in far deeper than she had ever imagined. Whatever had come for her on that Halloween night was not content to let her go so easily. It was still out there, lurking in the shadows, biding its time until it could claim her soul once and for all. Haunted by the knowledge of what lay in wait, Sarah became a prisoner in her own home, barricading herself inside and sealing off every possible entrance to keep the thing at bay. But no matter how hard she tried to protect herself, she knew that it was only a matter of time before it found a way in. And then, one night, as Sarah lay huddled in her bed, the familiar sound of scratching claws echoed through the darkness. Her blood ran cold as she realized that the thing she had been trying so desperately to keep out had finally found a way in. With a scream of terror, Sarah leaped from her bed and raced through the house, searching desperately for a way to escape. But the thing was everywhere, its presence suffusing every corner of her reality like a malignant cancer. And as the darkness closed in around her, Sarah knew that there was no escaping the fate that awaited her. For on that Halloween night, she had invited something into her life that could never be banished, a darkness that would consume her soul until there was nothing left but an empty husk, lost to the eternal abyss. In a last desperate bid for survival, Sarah stumbled upon an old journal hidden away in the attic of her house. Its pages were filled with cryptic writings and arcane symbols the ramblings of a mad end driven to the brink of insanity by the horrors he had witnessed. With trembling hands, Sarah poured over the journal, piecing together the fragments of knowledge it contained. She learned of ancient rituals and forgotten incantations, of ways to banish the darkness that had taken root in her life. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Sarah began to prepare for a final confrontation with the thing that haunted her every waking moment. She gathered herbs and candles, drawing protective circles and sigils on the floors and walls of her house. And then, on the eve of another Halloween night, as the moon hung low in the sky and the shadows lengthened, Sarah stood alone in the center of her living room, ready to face her fears head on. As the clock struck midnight, the air grew thick with anticipation, a tangible sense of dread hanging over the house like a shroud. And then, with a sudden burst of sound, the thing revealed itself, emerging from the darkness with a guttural growl that sent shivers down Sarah's spine. But this time, Sarah was ready. With a steady hand and a heart full of determination, she began to chant the ancient incantations she had learned, her voice ringing out into the night like a clarion call. As she spoke, the air crackled with energy, the very fabric of reality warping and twisting around her. And then, with a blinding flash of light, 
The darkness was banished, driven back into the depths of the abyss from whence it came. With a triumphant cry, Sarah collapsed to the ground, exhausted but victorious. The nightmare was over, the darkness vanquished, at least for now. But as she lay there, catching her breath, Sarah knew that the battle was far from over. For the forces of darkness were ever vigilant, always seeking new ways to breach the barriers between worlds. And so, as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Sarah made a solemn vow to never again let her guard down, to always be ready to confront the darkness that lurked just beyond the threshold of her reality. For on that Halloween night, Sarah had faced her greatest fears and emerged victorious. And though the scars of her ordeal would never truly heal, she knew that as long as she remained vigilant, the darkness would never again hold sway over her life. Like, subscribe, and click on notifications that will allow you to stay up to date with the news and not miss videos from the channel, where there will be many more horror stories.